Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, checking in on the cryptocurrency space. The bears are coming out more significantly than we've seen in quite some time, and I can say that. Number one, because of the amount of bear volume showing up on the daily time frame. Number two, the four hour RSI. So there's our four hour highest volume we've seen in some time. The last time we saw it was on the dump from 9,000 to 8,660. And the four hour RSI is currently the lowest we've seen since that move from the $7,300 bounce. So the bears have kept control and it's been pretty easy for a bull like myself to sit on our hands and wait because of this 12 hour time frame. Yes, it's been a falling wedge that we're keeping an eye on, but the falling wedge has not broken bullish, which has prevented bullish entries. And it looks like we're falling out of that wedge unless we see some significant dip buying this current candlestick. Still five hours left, so it's possible. But this was the downtrend resistance line. And again, just no clear convincing break aside from this bear break. And also the 12 hour lower highs. So that pattern, disregard that pattern. Look at the 12 hour lower highs and the exponential resistance. One, two, three, four, just rejecting, dropping the lower lows, keeping bears confident. We know if we're not gonna break the lower highs, the bears have no reason to cover. And that's been the state that we have been in for the last bunch of days. The daily time frame, we just set another lower high, anything under 9,150, lower high. Our new lower high is 8,637, and we're now looking at 8,000 psychological. Are we still looking for a weekly high or low? I personally am. I will look to play an oversold bounce if we get extreme RSI conditions into the mid $7,000 range. I'm being picky as a bull because there's nothing telling me to go bullish right now. So if we keep this drop going, and we do enter $7,600, $7,500 range in four hour RSI oversold and the 12 hour RSI, which is currently oversold, then I'll be interested in making a play off of 7,300 support. Otherwise, I will patiently wait for a 12 hour trend change at a minimum. Checking in on how peers are standing up. This drop is hurting altcoins as well. We can see ETH daily lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. So the, the lower highs are extremely clear here. We can pull it up on the 12 hour time frame if we want more detail, but we can see them on the daily. And our most recent lower high is 186.26 and support only thing nearby, 173.86. We just dropped 20, 30 cents below that level. But after that level, it's weekly support. So we have our low high of the bounce, pretty much a double bottom and double top. And now we're heading back down towards support 152, 153, the most important level. What does the four hour time frame look like for Ethereum? We're not even really oversold right now and we're bouncing. And that's because the ETH BTC chart continues to remain bullish in a daily uptrend and continues to have its sight set on key weekly resistance 023. And if we zoom out to the weekly, we can see the tightening range and it's either an equilibrium if we fail to break 23 or a trend change on the weekly time frame. Those are the two scenarios, a rejection or a bull break. If we lose the daily uptrend, which right now the most recent support is 2149, if that level is lost, then our weekly lower high is very likely set and we will look for that consolidation and tightening weekly range. But it is this pattern, this chart I should say, that is keeping Ethereum much stronger comparative to Bitcoin. Litecoin daily bear flag confirming lower high, lower low, Again, testing that support, 54.14, just barely broke. And other than that, we're looking at the weekly low of 47.22. So the bounce was just a weekly lower high. Have to change these weekly trends if our monthly higher lows have been set. Otherwise, we're dropping to the lower lows and those monthly higher lows have not been set. So LTC would have to hold 47 and break 66 for us to be confident on the monthly time frame. Just like Ethereum has to hold 152, and see a bull break over pretty much 200. And just like Bitcoin has to hold 7,300 and see a bull break over 10,540. 
So that's where we stand on the big three. Now we're looking at XRP and XRP continues to be the lead bear by a lot. It has shown weakness comparative to everybody that we look on these lists consistently over the last three weeks. Another bear flag on the daily, 267 is our lower high. We dropped down, we broke 25 cents support. We're now looking down at 242, which we bounced off of. And then we're looking down at 234, 228, 212. Not many support levels down here as the bulls are attempting a weekly higher low. 212 is the must hold weekly support. And you can see we have the equilibrium here as we look for a higher low compared to 212. BNB, clear bear break. So we're watching for the potential of 1926 support to hold, but we blew right through it. Daily uptrend is lost. Weekly consolidation is underway. Weekly support is 1612. We're still a good bit above that level, over 10%. But on any bounce now, we'll just be looking for a daily lower high compared to 2180, which is where we came from. So bears are firmly in control of Binance as well. First four hour oversold conditions. I assume we'll see at least a short term oversold bounce take place as things got so crushed. But again, short term is the key word there as we are just looking for daily lower highs even when we shift momentum. Neo, nice bear break and nice short. Inside bar, inside bar. Bear break was 1196. And the follow through from that is a solid eight plus percent. If you wanted to be more cautious, it was the break of 1170. Either, even then it's a 6% follow through. So we have a double top and convincing bear follow through. So the weekly time frame. actually don't like the weekly chart. Let's get some more detail on the three day equilibrium. High, let's see where our low is. Maybe we want the four day, maybe we want the two day. Couple supports in there. So high, that's the low. Back to the three day, double top. And now the bulls must hold 10, 12 support. And again, just like I'm waiting for buy, uh, Bitcoin, if we head down into the mid $7,000 range to potentially be looking for that higher low and oversold bounce playoff of support, if we keep dropping down on NEO and this four hour RSI gets crushed and the 12 hour RSI gets oversold, that's when we can be looking to make a play off of 10, 12 support. So there is a support level to play off of but we have clearly shifted some momentum as this is the most bearish action we've seen in NEO on the daily time frame since that massive bull run end of October. Link USD, clear bear follow through. So we ended up having a high, low, lower high, and then just lower highs and lower lows continuing. So 267 is the next support level to be watching and weekly consolidation not quite underway just yet. Technically, we haven't lost the daily uptrend. This was a key support level, but we didn't pivot enough off of it to call that our clear daily higher low. So we do have a support approaching of 267, but again, we will just be looking for a daily lower high to form. Even if we change the four hour trend on a prolonged bounce over the next 24 plus hours, we will just be looking for a daily lower high to form on these names that have pulled back fairly significant percentages from their recent highs. We can see a 10% bounce and still be looking for a daily lower high. So this Bitcoin bear break with its convincing follow through is impacting these mid cap altcoins more than the Bitcoin weakness has recently impacted these altcoins. And weekly consolidation is underway for the majority of the sector and weekly trend changes are needed in the majority of the, the sector to be looking for monthly higher lows to be set. Again, big picture, if our monthly higher lows are set, we're going to be looking for an equilibrium and tightening range into maybe mid 2020 on Bitcoin. If it's not set and we can't change these weekly trends and everybody is still looking to pull back after 7,300, we would look at 7,000 and then I'd be looking down really 7,000 and then 6,000 stand out. The more we pull back, if I'm all cash, I want to see more of a pullback. Why? Because that would create more space to work within. And once that eventual higher low is found on the monthly time frame, the bounce would have a greater percent if it occurs from a lower point, in my opinion, than if it had occurred from 7,300. So patiently waiting, wouldn't mind another leg down. Although I like when everybody's happy and things are bullish, so maybe I would. Either way, everybody look at all the time frames on all these names. 
And it's all about the monthly chart as the bigger picture. And if Ethereum, again, just a lower high every month, and if we see a bear break of 152, we're looking right back down at $80 and there'll still be a play for a monthly high or low. It'll just be happening from a lower point. So that's where we stand bigger picture. But first things first, over the next two weeks, I would say, we should know whether or not bulls can form weekly higher lows and try and change these trends or whether we're going to drop down to lower lows, convincing us that the monthly higher low has not been set yet. So I appreciate you watching. I did finish up that video about trading, switching from trading crypto to trading stocks. That's on our YouTube channel. Need to close out a position in stocks real quick. And I hope you are well. Do good things. Check out that video if you have any interest. Feel free to ask questions after watching that video if you still have them. And we'll see you soon. Have a good rest of your day.